So we're asked to solve a quadratic in this question and to be able to solve a quadratic we must first of all work out what a, b and c are. a is the number before the x squared, well here it's 1x squared, we don't bother writing the 1, so a is 1. b is the number before the x term which is 12 and c is the number on its own at the end which is going to be 5. Now the quadratic formula you need to know off by heart. It's minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, I would just type this purely in the calculator as it is. However, I'm just going to write it out and show you what I'm typing in, and then I'm going to talk you through what I'm typing in to help you out. So, minus b, well, that's minus 12, and I'm just going to do a plus for now square root of b squared, which is 12 squared, minus 4 times a, well that's just 1, so there's no point in doing it, times c, which is 5, over 2 times a, well 2 times 1 is just 2. So I'm going to write that into my calculator, I'm going to grab my calculator now. The first button to press is the fraction button. Now, I've often gone halfway through writing um, a quadratic formula, and then I've realized I've forgotten to press the fraction button. There are ways around it. You can then just divide. You can press equals and then divide your answer by whatever's at the bottom, but it's much easier just to press the fraction button. So first thing I'm going to do is get that negative in, and the way of doing negative is to press the button that looks like that. So minus 12, then I press plus square root 12, and then the squared button, which is kind of looks like this on my calculator, minus 4 times 5. Then I'm going to press the cursor key buttons. Now all calculators have slightly different looking buttons, but press down on it. And I'm going to go to the bottom of the fraction and press 2. Then when I press equals, it looks kind of funny. It looks, uh, it's basically a third. So I'm going to press the S to D button, which on my calculator looks like this and that converts it to a decimal. So it says minus 0.43. Now instead of writing all that out again for when, I'll just change it here, when it's a negative, all I do is use the cursor button keys on my calculator to go to that plus or just after it and press the delete button and then press the minus button. When I press equals, it gives me the other answer which is minus 11.43. Five seven because this this seven would move the six up to a seven, and those are the two answers. Now it's absolutely fine to go straight from here to your answer. Just make sure you check your working on the calculator, um, and check that if you in case you've made any mistakes. The most common mistakes are dealing with negatives, and my advice is if you do uh, have one with negatives in, always put brackets around the negative numbers, and you won't have a problem.